So the first thing you need to know is that insulin controls sugar by lowering sugar in the bloodstream. So insulin comes in and takes the sugar out of the blood and it puts it in storage. And our bodies only have roughly probably one, maybe two teaspoons, depending on how big you are, of sugar in the entire circulation. So it's not a lot. So anything more than that is toxic and your body will instantly convert, it will convert the sugar to fat and cholesterol. Now, this is a one-way street. Fat is not then converted back to sugar. It doesn't do that. So, fat um, is broken down into other things like fatty acids and ketones, but it's not a two-way street. You can't go back. So once it's converted, it's going to stay there for a while. And uh, so sugar is one of the biggest cul culprits for uh, obesity, hands down. Now, excess insulin will cause diabetes. Uh, that's why when your pancreas burns out and you don't have any more insulin, they have to inject you with it because you've abused the insulin. And even the insulin goes too high, it'll make the receptors resistance. It's called insulin resistance. So it doesn't go in there, and that's called diabetes type 2. So really, the insulin might be there, but your body's not receiving it because it considers it too, it's too toxin. It's too toxic when you have too much of that coming through the bloodstream. Uh, that's because you're eating too much sugar. So instead of changing the diet, they just start to give you a medication to help absorb more of this insulin. So it's really crazy. So the point is that insulin, too much insulin will cause diabetes. Cancer, why cancer? Well, in order to diagnose cancer, they do what's called PET scans. PET scans scan the body for areas of your body that there's excessive amount of digestion of sugar in cells because cancer cells live on sugar. So guess what I would do if I had cancer? Or to prevent cancer, I'm going to keep the insulin low. I'm going to eat no sugar, and that's going to help me with the cancer. Okay? Now, insulin is a type of hormone that makes things grow. It makes things get bigger. They cause tumors. And if, you want it, if there's any medical professionals listening to this, it's called anabolic hormone. So it makes things get bigger. Estrogen and insulin are anabolic. They make things grow. And that's why you get acne, boils, uh, fibroids, tumors, and eventually cancer, because uh, if I had a fibroid or if I had something like that, you can starve it off by not eating any more sugar. But who does that? Um, now, polycystic ovarian um, disorder, that is a lot of different uh, cysts on the ovaries. Um, that's purely too much insulin. If they were to cut this down, that problem would go away. Neurological, memory, uh, there's even a diabetes type 3, which actually destroys your brain. Uh, one of the side effects from too much sugar and too much insulin is that you have peripheral neuropathy. That's the destruction of the nerves in your fingertips and your toes. That's where you get numbness and tingling in your hands and feet. So that's neurological. Uh, then we have respiratory. We have asthma, allergies. Those are two side effects. Uh, we talked about acne and boils, those little bumps. Um, also... Um, you just get fat, um, high blood pressure, cholesterol, insulin converts to cholesterol and triglycerides way, way more than any type of eating cholesterol will turn into cholesterol. So these are some of the side effects that, you, that come from insulin as being the root cause for many, many problems. So I just want to touch on that so you have that basic information.